Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emmeline. Welcome to Emmeline Enchanted. Today I'm going to be doing the Christmas Past, Present, and Future tag, kind of like a Disney edition. This was created by Cinder Alley Loves Disney and Kaylee Hopkins here on YouTube. I will link their channels and their videos down in the description box for you guys to go and check it out. Um, but I just kind of stumbled upon this tag and thought I would do it as my last Christmas video for 2020. I'm so sad that we're already done with Christmas stuff. Like, I feel like I feel like I haven't done a lot for Christmas on this channel, even though I've done this is my fourth video. I just feel like I haven't done a lot. But hey, there'll be more next year. And if you guys do want to see some more like holiday content from me, go check out my vlog channel. I posted much more videos on there that are like holiday related, so you guys can definitely go and check those out if you want to see more of me in the holiday festive mood cheer. Yeah. So, without any further ado, let's get on with the tag. All right, so if you guys were interested, I did make these ears. I made these last year for Christmas, so if you guys didn't see that video, I'll link it down in the description box for you guys. But anyway, let's get on with the tag. So the first part is Christmas past, and the question for that is share a favorite Christmas memory. It can be Disney or a general Christmas memory. I'm going to go down the Disney route, and this is probably also one of my favorite Christmas memories anyway in general. I've talked about this multiple times on my channel, I even have a story time for this, so if you guys are interested in seeing the full story time of what I'm about to say, go check it out in the uh, card, I believe it's up here, I think it's up here. Go check it out, and it'll also be in the description box for you guys. Um, but that is when I was in the Disney Christmas Day Parade. I was in the parade 10 years ago, and yeah, like... It was honestly a really cool experience. If I can like find clips of the dance and stuff that I did, I will definitely try and insert them for you guys. Um, but yeah, it was a really cool experience and it was so much fun to film. We filmed it at the beginning of December. It's actually a few weeks ago um, that hit the 10 year mark of me filming for it. So it was really cool. Um, and then Christmas Day will be 10 years since it aired, which is really crazy. So I was 11 years old. It was just a really cool experience. It was really cool to film it and it was actually really cool being able to like see how it all came together. Um, I did two dances for it. Like I said, if you guys want to see the story time, I explain everything in there. But it was just really cool and actually like getting to spot myself on TV. We did find me. Um, I honestly don't know if I would be able to find myself again. It was such like a split second. If I do happen to find it, I will definitely insert like a screenshot or something, but yeah. It was really cool and it's a super fun memory and I, I'm so glad I was able to get that opportunity to do that um, even though I wasn't the best dancer and I quit dance a few years after that and I started only a few years before. It was just still a really cool experience to experience and they don't do this anymore. Um, at least the thing that I did, like they have like a little dance showcase now I believe, but they don't dance in the parade anymore I think. So I'm glad that I was also able to um, be able to actually be in the parade and be on TV. It's really cool. The next portion is Christmas present and that is share what you are looking forward to this Christmas. I am honestly just looking forward to being with my family. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, hopefully I will be able to be with my family, um, on Christmas Day. Um, we have a little bump in the road that we are trying to get over. It's looking good so far. Um, but yeah, my fiance and I were in New Hampshire at our college apartment, um, and we're unsure of when we'll be able to go home for Christmas. We're hoping we'll be able to be home for Christmas, but if not, it's gonna be okay. Um, but I'm just looking forward to being with my family and spending time with them. If 2020 has taught me anything, it is just to cherish the moments that you have with your family and your friends. Um, and that Christmas really is not like all about the gifts and stuff like that. It's just being with your loved ones. Um, you know, I've always known that Christmas isn't about gifts. You know, I obviously, I, I love receiving gifts and I love um, seeing what people got me and that they actually cared enough to get me something for Christmas. And I absolutely love giving gifts i love giving more than i love receiving um so yeah but um 
ultimately none of that even matters um and it's just being with your loved ones on christmas so i'm hoping i'll be able to be with them on christmas day um if not hopefully very soon after so i can go and see them because i haven't seen anybody since thanksgiving so fingers crossed let's hope for the best yeah and the last question um, which is for Christmas future and that is describe your perfect Christmas can be general um, and or Disney if Disney here are your questions um, so we're gonna go with Disney so first how would your day go I would love to wake up and be at the Grand Floridian Hotel Resort whatever it's called because it's always been my dream to stay there just for even like one night um, so I would love to be able to wake up and be there, see the big like gingerbread house um, that they have there in the lobby, um, and they. Yep. Sorry if you hear any weird background noise. My landlords seem like they're doing some maintenance around the apartment. But anyway, um, so yeah, I'd love to just wake up at the Grand. I just love to wake up at the Grand Floridian, go see all the beautiful decorations that they have there, maybe explore a little bit, get some breakfast at the resort. Um, and then the next question is, which park would you go to? I would probably go to, I'd go to all of them um, if I'm making this like a little like trip and stuff. But if I could only go to one park, I'd probably pick Magic Kingdom. That's my favorite. I can't miss out on seeing the castle you know and especially it's new um i was there last time at disney when they were just starting to paint cinderella's castle um they literally started the the process of that that day that i went um so i haven't seen it um all done yet so i'd love to go see that and see all the christmas lights and the decorations and stuff like that and have like the snow on main street it's so fun and it's so magical when i did go to film for the parade i got to see some of it but i didn't really get to spend a lot of times in the parks um, so I'd love to eventually go back to Disney and um, just embrace and um, be there for the holidays and just get that full experience of being there for the holidays. Where would you eat? I would probably either eat at Be Our Guest. Be Our Guest is my favorite restaurant at Magic Kingdom. They have such great food. I love like the vibe of the restaurant. It is so cool. They were literally done. I decided to film now they're going again so I'm really sorry if you hear anything anyway yeah so be our guest is one of my favorite restaurants there um, I just love the atmosphere of it the food is really good so I would either eat there or I'd love to eat at Cinderella's um, royal table I believe it's called the one at the castle I'd love to eat there too it's, um, I just I love Cinderella so much and I'm surprised I actually haven't eaten at the castle yet um, so that would be really cool if i was able to go and do that too next question is which characters are a must see cinderella is definitely a must see for me i have to go and see her every single time i go to disney if i don't then did i even go um i literally had to go see her and tell her about my engagement when i got engaged so i'd have to see her i'd have to see mickey and minnie of course probably like rapunzel and tiana and i guess elena the beast obviously if we go to be our guest i'd love to see tinkerbell while i'm there Maybe Aladdin and Jasmine, Peter Pan. Yeah, just seven, you know, I mean eight. I mean, I can count. Um, honestly, everybody, I love meeting characters, but definitely Cinderella is definitely a must-see for me. Um, the next question is what rides are a must-do? I have to do Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. That is one of my favorites at Magic Kingdom. Um, Space Mountain, um, the Little Mermaid ride, like the Journey, Journey, of the little mermaid i forget exactly what it's called but i love that ride um if i could seven dwarves mine train i haven't done that yet because um the ride is always it's such a long wait every time i go um and i just don't have the patience to wait in that so if i could probably seven dwarves mine train um what else pirates is really fun oh carousel of progress of course um it's not really a ride it's more of a, like an attraction but i'd have to do that same with fill her magic um, that's another attraction that I can never skip out on. Probably. Yeah, that's probably it. And then the last question is, any other traditions to incorporate? 
Um, just like taking pictures all around the parks, being able to see um, happily ever after. Um, I feel like that would be so magical at Christmas time. Maybe like going to Mickey's very merry Christmas party. That would also be really fun with like all of like the treats and stuff that you can get. Um, I went to that when I went for the parade and it was really fun. Um, and yeah, I think that would really be it. Oh, and I'd probably have to get a turkey leg. I tried a turkey leg the last time I went to Disney. It was to die for, so I'd probably have to get one of those too. Um, but yeah, just taking pictures with characters and taking pictures around the parks and just doing what I always love to do when I go there, just embrace Disney. Um, and yeah, and I probably have to go get pixie dusted too at um, Bibbidi Boppity Booty. I've never done that before and I kind of want to next time I go. That's on my bucket list. Um, but yeah, and that is it for this tag. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see some more Disney content from me. I think, will I see you in the new year? No, so we'll have one more video left for 2020. I won't see you in the new year quite yet, but definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on other videos. And I think that's it. So I'm going to go now and I will see you guys next time in another video. Bye everybody.